Today we're talking white balance, a setting that is quite important but might not be the first one on your mind. So white balance is a setting within your camera that is balancing the colors in a scene. If you're new to this it might sound a bit confusing but it's actually pretty easy. Basically different light sources have different color temperatures and this is something that we might have to balance out because they can vary from very warm to very cold or somewhere in the middle. For example an old light bulb is very warm with its sort of orange glow while the ambient light before sunrise is very cold or bluish. So when we're out shooting, we dial in our white balance to best match the lighting scenario that we're in. So that the camera can tell, oh okay, it's a bit warm in here, so I'll shift more towards blue to balance out and make whatever is white, white. Ergo, white balance. Let's have a look at an example where I'm wearing a white shirt and I'm lit by an orange light. If I tell the camera that the lighting in here is warm, it will compensate by adding more blue to the image until my white shirt is white again. Luckily this isn't very complicated because we have these presets within our cameras that sort of indicate which setting is appropriate for the scenario. All these presets or symbols follow the Kelvin scale, so for example if you're out on a sunny day, you can select the sun symbol and it will automatically set the white balance to 5600. Now even though these symbols work great 9 times out of 10, there are sometimes scenarios where the lighting is mixed. Like in this example here, I'm sitting by the window that is casting a white sort of bluish light and I have a warm light that comes from the ceiling lights. This doesn't look super flattering to me because I generally think that yellow ambient light is quite ugly. Unfortunately though there are no way for me to compensate here because if I add more blue to the image to compensate for the yellow ceiling light, the window light will become very blue and I don't want that. The optimum thing to do would be to cancel the ceiling light and put in my own light with the same temperature as the window. The next issue that we can run into is when none of the presets matches the lighting in your scenario. This is when you can set a custom white balance. To do that you simply choose the custom symbol and you dial in whatever you want. You can dial in colder or warmer or more green or more magenta. And it can be hard to set the exact white balance that is matching your scenario, but just get as close as you can and you can fix the rest in post. Okay, everything is super clear, but what about if you don't have anything white in your scene or you have a very colorful setup like in this example here? Whenever I have a setup like this, I always go for the daylight preset or the little sun because it doesn't change anything. Teal stays teal and pink stays pink. If I were to use the shade preset, it will make everything warmer and that would ruin the hue or the color. The last thing we need to talk about is auto white balance and just like with any other setting I would never recommend you to use auto because the camera has no brain, it can think for itself. This means that every time you turn the camera towards something else it will probably shift the white balance even though it's the same scene and the same lighting setup. Let's look at an example, if I'm walking around in a place and the lighting is changing, so is the white balance. And if we pause two frames and put them next to each other, we can see that the colors have shifted. And this is just a pain to sit and color correct. It's a lot easier to just color correct the whole thing once than sitting and color correct every single shot because the white balance has shifted. I believe that's basically everything you need to know about white balance. Just a good rule of thumb is to keep whatever's white white. And if you want a specific look, you can do that in the editing later. Now this is the last part of the sort of technical side of the bootcamp series. The next part will be all about shooting and making great content. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments or ask away in the Facebook group. And I hope to see you in the shooting part. Thank you for watching. <laughs>